Okay, so again, I've, I've just saved this file. So I'm going to skin it, test it out, and then uh, go to a new file and reload it before I skinned it. So that way I know I haven't screwed any of this skinning up, any of this character up. So again, I'm just going to go to star bn, uh, sorry, uh, jt capital bn underscore star to select all those joints again. Unreference the mesh. And I'm going to go to bind skin, smooth bind. I'll just double check the options. So I'll put this back up to 5. Probably put this back up to 4. And just hit apply. And close. And again, I'm just going to hide everything, show polygons, show no upscales. And reference the mesh again. Okay, so, and one thing we didn't test earlier. As you can see, I can move this arm. Again, the skin is default, but we can see how it's preserving that distribution along there because we've got this set to follow. Or we can set not to follow. So you can see that's working well. And then we can start to see this arm. So we've got the squash, we've got the stretch, we've got the normal bend. We'll stretch this out. So I'm going to stretch this out quite far. We've got this control in the middle, so that's working nice. And then we can start to see that it starts to get a bit more linear, just the mesh, but we're going to apply a smooth to this afterwards. So after we skinned it, we're going to smooth this before we rendered it, so this should smooth out. I'm going to turn the side wave on, sound amplitude, I'm, I'm just going to select this mesh actually. I'm just press free for smooth mesh preview. It might slow it down quite a bit, but we're just going to do this to preview it. Selecting that control. Oh, I'm going to reference the mesh actually. So I don't select it. Select that control. Wavelength we can change. And then we can do that nice offset. So all of these are animatable. We can have these funky sine waves going on. And it didn't take a lot to set this up. We just added that on the new deformer. We didn't have to create all separate joints down here and do everything by hand. So let's test the other side. You can see it's working over there as well. So that's cool. <laughs> The clavicle is still working. Great. And also, one thing we haven't checked a lot is this back tail. As you can see, it's still still working quite well. And then move the upper body. That's great. <laughs> Okay, so in the next tutorial we're just going to go through adding these sine wave to the antennas and we're going to do that quite quickly, I'm not going to go into as much depth because it's just repeating the same steps that we did before.